Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are making pumpkin pie cinnamon scrolls. They are so delicious and fluffy. I guarantee that you are going to love them and you won't be able to stop at one. It is the perfect recipe for the fall. Well, actually it's spring here in Australia, but I know that October is the season of the pumpkin and I've just been to the market and I've bought loads of pumpkin, pureed it, and I'm ready to make so many delicious pumpkin recipes with you guys. These scrolls are so easy to make. You only need a couple of basic ingredients. They do require yeast, but I guarantee you that is what makes them fluffy. Now, if you're as excited for this recipe as I am, make sure you hit that like button. That really helps support me. And also if you aren't already and you're new here, please do subscribe because I have so many pumpkin recipes coming and more delicious, healthy things. So make sure you keep watching if you want to know how to make it. So for our delicious pumpkin pie cinnamon scrolls recipe, you are going to need a cup of milk of your choice. I am using almond milk here. You'll need two tablespoons of real sugar. You can also use any sugar you like as long as it's not one of those zero calorie sweeteners. So not stevia, not xylitol. Real sugar, whatever you have is fine. I have got brown sugar, so that is what I'm using. You will also need one tablespoon of yeast. Then you'll need four tablespoons of oil, coconut or olive works great, or some vegan butter. I'm just using some olive oil. You'll need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Two and a half cups of flour. I am using some spelt flour here because I really like the flavor of spelt. Uh, spelt flour tends to be a little more absorbent than other flours. So make sure you do have a lot more extra of this to knead the dough later. You can use wholemeal pastry flour, wholemeal spelt flour, just plain flour as well. Whatever you like, a quarter cup of sugar. So you can use brown sugar, coconut sugar, and I have decided to use a stevia baking blend so I can reduce the carbs and sugar in this recipe and it's perfectly fine to use the sweetener in the dough itself because we need the real sugar for the yeast to feed on. Two tablespoons of baking powder and some salt and also some cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice. Now if you don't have this I have got a recipe for you coming in the next few seconds <laughs> and of course key ingredient you will need some pumpkin puree you can also use more oil if you like but the pumpkin puree not only adds that beautiful pumpkin flavor and that beautiful orange color but it also adds moisture without the added fat so I really love some good old pumpkin puree so if you don't have any pumpkin pie spice at home you can easily make this yourself by combining three tablespoons of cinnamon two teaspoons of ground ginger, two teaspoons of ground nutmeg, one teaspoon of ground allspice, and one teaspoon of ground cloves. And then you obviously just mix all of these spices together and then you can store it in an airtight container and use it for so many delicious pumpkin pie flavored things. And one of my favorites is also a pumpkin pie latte. So without further ado, let's get into this recipe. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our yeast. Now we just add our almond milk and sugar, the two tablespoons of sugar to the bowl and just give that a stir, let that sugar dissolve. <laughs> now make sure your milk is warm. So that would be about 45 degrees Celsius or 110 degrees Fahrenheit. But basically you can simply just stick your finger in it and if it feels like you want to have a bath in it, that is, it's the temperature of bath water, and then that is the perfect temp. So I already preheated my milk, and my favorite milk to use is almond milk. So now we grab a tablespoon of yeast, make sure yours is fresh because otherwise this won't bubble up and foam up the way yeast should. A tip here is to always keep your yeast in the fridge. That keeps it fresh. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top, and then I'm gonna set that aside for five minutes and let that bubble and foam and do its magic. So now that our yeast is all beautiful and bubbly, it is time to add the rest of the wet ingredients. So that's simply just the olive oil. You can also use coconut oil, just make sure that it's melted. Or you can also use some vegan butter or normal butter <laughs> if you're not vegan. Now the beautiful pumpkin puree, which is gonna add so much richness in both the color and the flavor. 
and the moisture. And then a splash of vanilla extract to make sure it's the real stuff and not the flavored. Then give that a quick stir until it's nice and combined and you can already see that the beautiful pumpkin color shine through. It looks and smells so good already. I'm so excited. So once that's combined, I'm simply just going to add my dry ingredients and I'm being super professional and I'm sifting it through. So we've got our white spelt flour and once again, you can use plain flour. I just really like the taste of spelt. So I've got about two and a half cups there. And now for our sweetener, which I am using the stevia baking blend. And you can see that it's gone a bit lumpy because I do like to go that extra step and I like to powder my sweetener in the blender and make sure that it's really, really fine. I just feel like this bakes better and also makes the result super, super extra fluffy. <laughs> so I sift that through there and get out all the lumps. Now our baking powder and our salt, which is again gonna help make everything rise. And also our cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice. It's all looking really good. Just push through those last few lumps. And then once that's through, make sure everything is nice and combined. And you'll see that once the wet and the dry combine, it'll start to form this really nice orangey dough. There's no need to over stir this. So as mentioned, spelt flour is a lot more absorbent than other flours. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of flour until it is that perfect dough. So while we wait for our dough to rise, we're going to make our delicious, creamy, spicy, filling. <laughs> so I've got half a cup of melted vegan butter here. I highly, highly recommend using a fat sauce and something that's rich like butter. But if you're watching your weight, you could also use just plain pumpkin puree by itself, or you could use some Greek yogurt or normal yogurt. But yeah, butter is definitely the best. Now we've got half a cup of our pumpkin puree three tablespoons of coconut sugar. You can also use brown sugar and then I definitely recommend some kind of brown sugar and make that sugar real as well. Definitely tastes better for the filling. And then our cinnamon and pumpkin spice. And then just simply stir that until combined and mm, this smells so good. Seriously, cannot wait to eat this all day long. It's the AFL Grand Final here in Victoria, Australia, where I live. And so that's basically like America's Super Bowl, but you know, not as extravagant and big, but it is huge here in Australia. And I'm not really that into the football, but I'm definitely into like all the party snacks and the party food that comes with the football. So this would definitely be a great like tear and share recipe to have with all your friends. And I guarantee that they won't know that it's vegan and healthy. This is like the longest 20 minutes and we're still waiting for our dough, <laughs> but we are going to make some beautiful glaze frosting for the top of these scrolls. This is totally optional, but recommended. So all you're going to need is some vegan cream cheese. You can also use real cream cheese if you're not vegan or Greek yogurt if you are watching your weight. So we'll need about 250 grams of that. And then we need some powdered sugar. You can use sweetener and then powdered that up, which is what I've done. And then also a teaspoon of our beautiful pumpkin pie spice and a tablespoon of our pumpkin puree. And we're just gonna add that all to a blender. I just think that the glaze is like the cherry on top of the cake. It definitely just makes it so special. And then in goes our powdered sugar and spices and then blitz that until smooth and creamy. Now, if you find that your frosting is too thick, feel free to add a little bit of milk or water. So I'm gonna punch that and then I'm going to add some flour to my hands and knead that for about five minutes. This might require my sleeves to be rolled up. So I'm gonna rub. Oh God, I just spilled it all over myself. 
Why do I always do that? Anyway, I think the bigger mess you make, the more delicious the recipe is, right? Okay, so I'm gonna knead this for the five minutes, just like so, adding flour where necessary, where it feels a bit wet. <laughs> So now we've got our perfect rectangle and we are going to grab our filling and spread that all over very nice and generously. So sorry that my mic kept dying, but basically you just spread on the rest of the filling evenly and then start rolling up the dough lengthways. Then my hack here is to grab some dental floss and use that to slice the cinnamon rolls. I did eight big ones, but next time I think I'd do 12 to 14 smaller ones. Using dental floss over a knife makes it slice much more evenly, whereas when you use a knife, the dough tends to push into the filling, squeezing it out, and we don't want that because we want to taste our delicious filling in every bite. So then after that's done, grab your greased baking pan, place the cinnamon rolls face side up, and then let that rest for a final 30 minutes. So I have just retrieved our beautiful pumpkin pie cinnamon scrolls from their warm place, and they have risen so perfectly, and now they're finally ready for baking in the oven at 175 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until they're golden brown, risen beautifully, fluffy, and just perfection. So our scrolls have come out perfectly golden and fluffy and you can also check that they're cooked by inserting a skewer and if it comes out clean then that's perfect. I recommend drizzling the cream cheese frosting over it when it's warm and having it fresh. Shays are honestly so satisfying. You can also top it with some pecans or walnuts that will definitely add a nice bit of crunch to it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you try this delicious pumpkin pie cinnamon scroll recipe. I guarantee you none of your friends and family and yourself are going to know that it's vegan, refined, sugar-free and full of healthy ingredients. Again, if you did like this recipe, please do subscribe because that really helps support me and I have another delicious fall recipe coming your way made with delicious pumpkin. So make sure that you stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.